Hey there, YouTube. Welcome to Drake Array Gaming. Today, we're going to be talking about Fortnite best graphic settings. Um, I don't play it a ton, but I have spent a ton of time uh, testing for FPS on it and trying to boost your FPS as well as maintaining good quality and distance and everything like that. Come check it out. No BS, no fluff. Here we go. All right, here we are inside Fortnite. If you don't know how to get in here, uh, what you want to do is go to the top left there. Go to the gear icon down here on the bottom left go to settings and in this first tab here we're going to go over these real quick okay so i run in a windowed full screen mode because i stream but you can run in full screen as well uh the resolution is 1920 by 1080 in 16 by 9 ratio which means wide screen uh if you have an ultra wide it may be like a 21 9 etc uh, what you want to do is whatever your fr your frame rate limit is for your monitor, your hertz. So your monitor hertz, you want to set this to. I have a 120, but I like to leave a little bit of a some headroom. So I'm going to run 144 FPS for my frame rate limit. That way my computer focuses on generating that many frames and not any extra. Uh, let's go to... Um, auto quality set so i don't auto set this i go ahead and set them manually and what i found works best for my computer may work for yours is um i run view distance on far because i like to snipe and see enemies coming i run shadows on medium uh medium or low works fine for this game shadows are not super dependent but it isn't a nice nice to see if someone's dropping down in on you so i'd leave it medium um dls is running right now so you can't change the anti-aliasing and i'll show you that setting later uh, textures, we're going to go medium as well as effects and post processing. Now, one of these you can lower to low uh, and see if it helps you get more frames if you're not getting enough frames at the end of this. Uh, V-Sync is off. Motion blur is also off. Show FPS counter is set to yes. I like to use the in-game one when I can. If not, you can see on the top right I have my NVIDIA one running as well. It's preference, whatever one you'd like to use so you can actually measure your first your frames per second. Uh, rendering mode is in DirectX 11 uh, for the most frames and less effects. Allow multi-threaded rendering. Now this is a great feature if you have a lot of cores or, or threads on your CPU. If you have a high-end CPU or any CPU like most CPUs are today, they have a lot of cores and threads. So you want to leave this on. Um, we try it with it off or on to experiment, but with on, it works best for me. Um, the debugging, I don't worry about. That's off. Latency markers, I have off currently. Um, NVIDIA reflex low latency. So you can try this. This may actually help boost you a little bit. I do on or on plus boost. It may actually help your system uh, respond faster and quicker. It's an NVIDIA technology via NVIDIA card. If you don't have an NVIDIA card uh, and you have an uh, AMD card, an ATI card, don't worry about this setting. Latency flash, I just keep that off. I don't really uh, monitor or work on it unless I'm experiencing issues. You can turn it on for extra assistance to see uh, debugging, etc. Um, but let's talk about L uh, DLSS. So this is the this is the best one. You can go for balance, but I found the best performance is if you run performance mode. Um, and when you run performance mode and have this enabled, there's a few settings up here like anti-aliasing you cannot run. It says DLS must be disabled. So um, again, real quick, we go 1920, 1080 by 144 FPS. We're going um, off on the colorblind mode, colorblind strengths all off. Uh, we're gonna do custom presets. So 3D resolutions on 50, cause we're using DLSS. We're gonna go far in the distance, medium or low on the shadows. The anti-aliasing is disabled. We can go medium, 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 and you go low if needed on any of these three. V-Sync, motion blur, all that stuff's off. If you wanna show your FPS, do that. Stick to a DirectX 11 rendering mode, uh, as well as using multi-thread rendering, turn that on. Everything else is off. Um, except for DLSS, which is in performance mode, and you want to hit apply. And that is how I got the best settings here in Fortnite. I'll jump into a round and show you guys what kind of uh, frames per second I'm getting. All right, we're getting over 100 frames here, about 127. On average, between 110 and 128, 144 now. So it looks like the game's loaded in. Look at, we're getting 144 frames. I could probably get even more. Uh, but in the top right hand side you can see we're getting a lot of frames it's running super smooth i'm gonna jump down and this is where you would get the most frame dip but you can see a solid 144 to 140. oh yeah look at we'll fly all the way down in as the city's rendering your frame dips a little bit but it holds real strong frames here on 43 graphics look great
That's my video for best settings for Fortnite. The graphics are running amazing. The FPS is through the roof, and I hope this video helps you out. I'm Drake Array. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.